Hello FIFA faithful, Bearhams here, and welcome to the sixth episode of my Aston Villa career mode. For today's episode, we will be taking on the entire month of December as we do have games against Manchester United, Leicester City, Southampton, and Watford. And the games in between, we will be live simming. Reason being, I like to have every episode one month. And because we do have a lot of games, I think live simming is our best bet. Big game here, of course, we are taking on the Red Devils. And I'm hoping to get an early start. Try to get something early on the board and try to hold on with our defense. Smata finds Juan Basaka into the Frenchman. Martial will find Mata back to 1-2 action here. There's a chance for a cross. Oh my goodness. Terrible defense out the back. That was Chris Smalling, the former Manchester United man himself, getting his first start against his old team. And he has an absolute mare. Sears back to Henry. Rico Henry using his speed. Tries to get past Juan Bissaka. But with his pace, it's going to get us a PK. We'll give it to Lehman Sears. See what the young buck can do against a great in David De Gea. So here we go. Lehman Sears. Ah, shoot. Martial the Mata. Smalling does get past Martial. There's a through ball. That will be James with the goal. A second goal for Man United. Not a good way to end the half here. We're already down away from home. Nope, they're not going to give us a chance, so that will be the end of it. 90 minutes here at Old Trafford. We just couldn't cut it. Very sluggish from the Aston Villa side. Then again, we were going against a number one team in the league in Man United. Traveling to Stamford Bridge, we do take on Chelsea. And after 90 minutes, we get demolished. Two goals by Willian, a goal by Rodrigo. Second game of the episode, we take on Leicester City. Uh, chance for a shot. Great shot. I believe that is... Is that Jamie Vardy? No, it is Madison who does get on the board as he celebrates with... Oh, they don't even have Brendan Rodgers in the game yet. Already, once again, intercepted by Damari Gray. A chance for a counter. This is where Lester is at their most dangerous. Damari Gray crashes in. Looking for a pass. He'll find Madison. Another shot. Thankfully, he does get saved. This will be punched away by Heaton is now... Trying to start a counter of our own, but once again, our passing has just been piss poor. So here's a chance. There's Vardy with a shot. Good save, Heaton. Great awareness by our veteran keeper. So they will get their first corner of the game. There's the header. What? No. No. Are you serious? What? Yeah, we're going to see a replay of this one. What happened? Heaton with an absolute blunder. What? He does it. He crouched down for it. I've been praising Heaton all year for his goalkeeping, even though he hasn't had the best results. But that was just terrible. Still got a chance here with a whole bunch of minutes, but... Finally, the ref will call time. Give us some mercy. As just like the game against Manchester United, we're down by two. We find Grealish. Jack Grealish gets past one tackle. Able to maintain possession. We'll find Rico Henry on the wing. Rico running out of room. Finds Marvelous. Marvelous passes it through. There's a shot. Hey, there's a goal. And it is Lehman Sears back on the board. So we've cut the deficit in half thanks to some favorable passing and already the impact of John McGinn has been immense. Oh, good turn by Greel. John McGinn. Oh, there's a pass through. Oh, there's a chance. Rico Henry was there. <sighs> Gets beaten out by Iannaccio. So Iannaccio tries to get a Oh, it's going to slide a pass through. No. No. Oh, God damn it. Tom Heaton. 
Reacts a little too early as Fuchs will get the goal. It did take a deflection. We'll have to take a finer look at this one. Zianacho was running down the wing, does find Fuchs, and goes right off the foot of Gilbert. Yeah, it's been a bad episode so far. I mean, I expected to lose to Manchester United and Chelsea, but losing this ugly to Leicester. I hope this is not the start of a slump. Second simulated game, we travel to Bramall Lane to take on Sheffield United, and we do get the victory. Lehman Sears in the 13th minute starts us off, and then it is Ollie Burke off the bench for Sears. Third game of the episode, we look to get our first win on camera this episode as we take on Southampton. Yeah, Wesley, we know you're unhappy. There's a reason. You're not good. <laughs> well, at least you're probably good, just not in this formation. That's, oh, small ink. Don't screw it up again. Thank God. Grealish does enough to get past that defender, though he is surrounded. He will keep it, though. Great play to keep it. Oh, here's a chance. Grealish with a shot. Side netting. Back to Perez. There's a chance here for the Saints to get on the board. There's Perez. Threads a pass through. Thankfully, that is off target. Still a chance, but thankfully it is cleared out. But again, it will stay with them as Vestigard. Able to corral it down. Armstrong with a shot. Does take a deflection. Good play by Tyrone Mings to get in the way. Walcott. To Sears. Sears going to lose it, though, but it will fall to Lalana, thankfully. Here's a chance for a th through ball up. Sears does get through. Good job just to get past Vestigard. Keeps the ball. Gets tripped up, and that will be a penalty. Yannick Vestigard getting a boot on Lehman Sears. When it comes to penalty kick takers, we're just going to stick with Walcott. He does have the best stat for it. He does put it easily in. Right pass gun. So we will start off the second half with a goal. There we go. Good pass. Sears finds it through ball. Walcott shoots, scores. There we go. Goal number two. Most likely the clinching goal for this game. Great passing all around as the former Arsenal and Everton man will get on the board. And hey, good pass by Rico Henry. The wingers hooking up for that one. There's a good pass. Grealish has a run maybe from Sears. Sears trying to apply pre Oh, oh, there's a chance for a shot. Oh, and he scores. Lehman Sears. What a terrible play by Angus Gunn. So in the last game that we played, Leicester City get a crazy garbage goal. And now Angus Gunn, a terrible clearance out, will find the feet of Lehman Sears to finish out this game. Wait, why is Hasenhutl cheering? This game is truly bonkers today. That will be the end of the game. So we do win by a score of 3-0. Really, it should have been 2-0, but just an awful play by Angus Gunn. Final simulated game of the episode. We are back at Villa Park against Norwich, and we win. Theo Walcott continuing his goal streak. So after getting a brace against Southampton, he gets a goal against Norwich, and it's Ollie Burke once again off the bench. Final game of the episode and the 2019 calendar year as we travel to Vicarage Road to take on Watford. Oh, good block already by Theo Anderson. Having him start over Gilbert. Not because Gilbert is doing bad. It's just because we do want to give some of our young bucks a try. It's a good interception. Now we're going to try to open things up here. Theo Walcott with his pace. Able to keep moving. He's going to thread a pass through. That might hit Grealish. Here we go. Jack Grealish with a chance. With a shot. With a goal. Great way to start this competition. It's Jack Grealish getting the pass from Walcott. And it will be Captain Jack getting a goal. But, oh, no. Loses it straight away. Chance here for Watford. Ah, uh, terrible loss of the ball. Just like that. There goes the lead. The combo just gets it barely through. Oh, maybe a chance here. Grealish with a shot, with a goal. Great performance already from Captain Jack. So he will get his second goal of the game in only 20-so minutes. Something. Through ball to Rico. Rico has to cut back. He will find Target, who's making an interesting run. Matt Target gets a through ball. We'll find Grealish. Jack Grealish already on a hat trick here. Jack Grealish with the shot, with the goal. Just a half hour is all Captain Jack needed to get his hat trick. 
Unbelievable. Already up by two. For a second, I thought this was going to be a tight game. Seema. Oh, poor clearance by Walcott. It will stay with them, Holobos. There's a pass. Not how he wanted to end this half. It is a goal for Watford. Oh, that's a good through ball to Seema. Seema does get a cross and good header, though, by Tyrone Mings. Oh, loses it straight away. Great save, though. If we could get it out, great clearance off the line by Mings. It will stay with Watford, though. Zokaka getting chased down into the corner by Smalling. Able to instigate that poor cross. That will be game. So we do finish off the episode with a victory. Three goals by Captain Jack Grealish. Will get himself the game ball. Incredible performance, though he was very quiet for the remaining 60 minutes. But his three goals were enough, and we leave Vicarage Road with three points. To finish off the episode, we have two items on the docket as we're going to take a look at how we're doing in the table. Currently, we are in 10th, and we're looking cozy as we're eight points away from Watford and two away from Everton. So I think we might just stick to that 10th position, but we are going to focus on the bottom three teams. The reason why I'm looking at Burnley, Newcastle, and Sheffield is because those will be the three teams we'll be able to get players on the transfer list. The three players from those clubs I will be looking at are Miguel Almiron, the Paraguayan already 80 overall. He did score against us when we did play him earlier this year. The second player is DeAndre Yedlin, the right wing back, right back. I'll play him mostly as a right winger. I do love his pace and his passing. So it'll be interesting to see if we can scoop him up. And the final player is Dwight McNeil, the young buck from Burnley. Again, because they are going down, he'll most likely want to stay in the Prem, especially with those stats as young as he is. And great attacking and defensive work rate as well. That would be a great acquisition. So yes, this will be the end of the episode. I hope you enjoyed watching it as much as I did playing it. Be sure to like and subscribe, and I will see you next time. This has been Bear Hams, and as always, toodaloo.